Hello everyone. Saint Philip Neri recounts the following story. A man openly admitted to his wife that he needed to go to confession because of the unpleasant things he was saying about people. For his penance, to his surprise, the priest told him to go to the local market, buy a hen, and on his way back home pluck the hen feather by feather and then retrace his steps to collect all the feathers. But that's impossible, said the man. By now the wind will have blown them far and wide. Exactly, said the priest. It's the same with your unguarded words. You don't know where they've got to by now. Some wise person once said that when your foot slips, you can recover your balance. But when your tongue slips, you can never recall your words. Speaking without thinking is like shooting without aiming. People who use social media these days, for instance, or even email, often have regrets about something they wrote in the past. Their words can come back to haunt them. St. Paul, in the second reading today, he tells us that love takes no pleasure in another person's sins. Now, part of the warped pleasure might result in saying or writing derogatory things about a person. It appears to me that today's gospel, from today's gospel, that the people of Nazareth were in this frame of mind when Jesus paid them a surprise visit. Even though initially he was well welcomed, but with open arms. However, there were some who had misgivings about him. Despite him being one of their own, he didn't share their small-minded tribal approach towards outsiders. The root of their problem here seems rather simple. He seemed to have more time for the people of Capernaum two miles down the road than for them. This fermented in feeling towards Jesus among some of the locals. Then Jesus takes them down a further peg or two in telling them that, that at the time of Elijah, God chose to heal the Syrian Naaman of leprosy, even though he hadn't a drop of Jewish blood in his veins. Now this didn't go down well at all with them. Their weariness boils over into anger, nearly leading to murder. Scurrilous talk may not end in cold-blooded murder, but we could murder a person's character or their personality. God has given most people the gift of speech, but our tongue can be used for good or ill. Like Jesus, it can sometimes get us into trouble, but it's the right kind of trouble when we suffer for speaking up for the truth, as he did. Silence is not always golden. However, in upholding the truth, we must guard against staining a person's good name. Unlike river water, gossip flows both ways. The person who gossips to you will, is also prone to do the same about you. Unguarded talk about others is a sin against the Eighth Commandment, and if we're honest with ourselves, none of us can claim exemption from it. It needs a big mea culpa, mea culpa, all round. Lent, which is fast approaching, is a good time to face up to it. St. James said, that the person who does not offend with his tongue is nearing perfection. But God is merciful, and in turning to him he won't hold our sins against us, as we sometimes do towards others. We have his word for it. Thank you all for listening, and God bless you all.